friends welcome back in this tutorial we are going to study about ipv4 classless addressing in previous tutorial we studied about ipv4 classful addressing but in this tutorial we are going to study about ipv4 classless addressing so what happens in uh, this uh, classless addressing in classless addressing addresses are granted in blocks but there are no classes right so what happens in classless addressing in classless addressing when an entity needs to be connected to the internet it is granted a block of addresses and the size of block depends on the nature and size of entity for example a household may be given only two addresses right on the other hand uh, whereas uh, a large organization it may be given thousands of addresses right a large organization may be given thousands of addresses but a household may be given only two addresses right now see what happens uh, the internet authorities they impose three restrictions to simplify the handling of addresses right now the first restriction is that uh, the addresses in a block must be contiguous that is one after another and the second restriction is that uh, the number of addresses in a block must be a power of two and the third restriction is uh, that the first address must be evenly divisible by the number of addresses right now what happens uh, in uh, classless addressing right in uh, classless uh, addressing what happens uh, this uh, a block of addresses can be defined as like this x dot y dot z dot t slash n right uh, it can be defined uh, like this right in this form a block of addresses can be defined right where this x dot y dot z dot t it defines the uh, one of the addresses in the block right uh, this x dot y dot z dot t right it uh, defines one of the address in the block right and uh, this is slash n right it, it defines the mask right now see if the block of uh, addresses is defined in this way x dot y dot z dot t slash n right if the block of addresses is defined in this way then uh, what happened here this uh, uh, what is this n this uh, n is the mask right so the first address in the block will be we can get by setting the rightmost 32 minus n bits of this address to zeros right so what happens if a block of addresses is defined in this form right then uh, how we can uh, find the first uh, address uh, in the block uh, the first address in the block can be found by setting uh, 32 minus n right most bits of uh, this address to zeros right now how we can find the last address in the block the last address in the block can be found by setting 32 minus n right most bits of uh, this address to ones right and uh, the number of addresses in the block right uh, uh, they, uh, they will be equal to 2 raised to power 32 minus n right so if a block of addresses is uh, defined as like this right then the number of addresses in this block will be 2 raised to power 32 minus n right now see here this is one of the address in the block right uh, 205.16.37.39 it is one of the address right in the block and here 28 is the mask right now what happens with uh, this uh, address and uh, this mask uh, they together defines a block of addresses right they together defines a block of addresses now see suppose we have to find the first address in that block then what would be the first address in that block now uh, this is one of the address in the block so first of all we will convert it into binary so when we convert uh, this uh, address in uh, binary then we will get this right so to find the first address in the block what we will do in this uh, address right uh, 
uh, what we will do uh, see the mask is 28 so 32 minus 28 is equal to 4 right so what we will do we will set four rightmost bits to zeros right so when we set these four rightmost bits of uh, this address to zeros then we will get the first address in the block right now how we can get the last address in the block right so what we will do with this address which is written here in binary uh, to find the last address in the block what we will do we will set the four rightmost bits of this address to once right as we have done here then we will get this address so this is the last address in the block now uh, the number of addresses in this block will be 2 raised to power 32 minus 28 which is equal to 16 now see what happens when an organization is given a block of addresses then the organization is free to allocate the addresses to those devices which need to be connected to the internet right so normally what happens uh, the normally the first address in the block is not assigned to any device it is used uh, as the network address right it is used as the network address which represents the organization to the rest of the world